Despite the deadly currents of the Detroit River, the Detroit Police Department underwater recovery team put their lives in the line when duty calls. They've recovered everything from bodies to guns to bombs. And today, I'm going to be joining them underwater. Ken, can you give us an insight on the Detroit Police Department's underwater recovery team? Basically, we're here to get anything that goes into the water. That could include people, guns, vehicles, and motorcycles. What's a typical call like? Really, there's no such thing as typical for us. We never know what to expect. Well, I'd really love to see the gear that helps you guys get through your job on a daily basis. Uh, maybe even try it on? Absolutely. This is a dry suit made out of vulcanized rubber. We use vulcanized rubber because it's impervious to many types of harsh chemicals we might encounter. This suit features a neck seal, wrist seals, and a waterproof zipper. That allows us to stay completely dry in this suit. These are actually made out of Kevlar. Same thing they make a bulletproof vest out of. You can see that it's just about wearing through these fingers. So it gives you an idea how many sharp objects are down there. We use one of the more common aluminum 80 tanks because of their lightweight and then standard high-end scuba regulator. The mass we use are full face masks. The reason we do this over a regular scuba regulator is because we dive some toxic environments. This way, the mask seals to the hood on our dry suit and our face never actually comes in contact with the water. Well, Ken, this is some pretty advanced gear that the recovery team uses. I'd like to get a chance to test it out. That's fine, but first things first, we're going to send you out with some sonar and try to find a target that will give you a reason to get in the water. Let's go. So, Dean, you're the sonar expert of the recovery unit. Can you give us some insight of what we're going to do right now? This is a toadfish array. What we do is uh, we drop it behind the boat, and on the inside of the boat, we have computer screens that we can actually image the bottom and see actually what's down there. So, Dean, we found a car. Uh, from the image we got on the bottom, it uh, looks like we have a car there. I think I'm going to head down below and uh, get a first-person view of it. Sounds good. Best of luck to you. All right. Thanks, bud. As you can see, the weather's changing on us here. That's typical of Michigan, which means the conditions are going to be even more dangerous. If that car is ready to come up, we're going to pull it up and show it to you. Right now, we're swimming against the current, uh, basically dragging myself along the bottom. And it looks like we have the vehicle that we found on the side stand. All right, there is a storm coming in. You got the weather coming in. It's getting a little wet up here. They want you up. Okay, start going to raise up. Excellent. You did a great job. The current was crazy down there. The winds are picking up. I was all over the place. And now uh, we're going to see this vehicle pop up pretty soon here. We first picked it up on the side scan. Then we found it manually, the good old-fashioned way. Due to the condition of this vehicle and uh, the amount of mud inside, we'll run it, see what the status is, if it's stolen or who the owner is, and if there's been an insurance claim on it. Guys at commercial auto theft will take care of that. We've had a hell of a day here with the dive team. Found some cars. Stay tuned for tomorrow, though, when we're with bomb disposal, and we get to blow up stuff. I'm going to go dry off right now. And, uh... I might be wrong here, but I think uh, bomb disposal might be a little safer than today. 